So let's give an update on Julian Assange, or at the very least, the periphery of Julian Assange. We have the odd case of photos being leaked from Belmarsh Prison, um, and that's including an anonymous source, a contraband phone, and one independent journalist, Cassandra Fairbanks. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Soapbox. My name is Jamal Thomas. This is the Progressive Soapbox. And yes, indeed, everything that I just said leading up to this is absolutely true. Um, by the way, guys, if you enjoy this content and you find yourself coming back to this channel often, please consider supporting this content through PayPal or Patreon. There is another ad apocalypse that is taking place and independent channels are taking the hit. Um, and my videos have been taking a hit long before the ad apocalypse. So please consider supporting your favorite YouTubers. A dollar helps. I know I say that all the time, but we actually do mean it. So let's do the news. So Julian Assange is in Belmarsh Prison, and he's in Belmarsh Prison at the very least for 50 weeks while they have a fight um, between Sweden and the United States on who gets him extradited, if he gets extradited at all. I mean, there's a lot of turmoil going on in British politics. We have no idea what takes place in British politics. If there's a Jeremy Corbyn in office, I strongly suspect he doesn't get extradited. That said, the last shooter drop was yesterday. So, how do I, who I said this? So, Cassandra Fairbanks is an independent journalist. Now, she puts out an article saying, we've contacted somebody who has a contraband phone inside Belmarsh Prison, and they have photos of Julian Assange that they've been pushing with a fundraiser. Now, she says she wanted to get their side of the story for the reason why they were pushing the fundraiser, because it looked as if that they were trying to extort WikiLeaks for money for information. So she ended up having a conversation with the guy. Now, again, this is an inmate, anonymous, with a contraband phone inside the prison. She asked the person whether he was an inmate or whether he was a guard. He said he was indeed an inmate. He said he was not trying to extort money from WikiLeaks or anybody else. She asked them about the conditions that Assange was in. And the photos that were released were photos that were released before he went to the hospital unit. Because as we know, right now, he's in the hospital. Assange was extremely ill when they took him out of the embassy. He wasn't having access to medical care and everything else. And this has been so traumatic. Um, the UN repertoir comes out and says he was experiencing signs of psychological torture. So this is before that. But these are the photos. This is Assange in the prison. I'm putting the link at the bottom so you can see it for yourself. Um, Cassandra Fairbanks has been on it, on this particular story. Um, even going so far as being able to do interviews with Assange. So, you know, she's reaching out for this guy. But these are pictures of Assange inside. Again, I'm going to put it at the bottom so you can read it and see it for yourself. Um, look, it just snapshot it. He says, Assange is, what Assange, or he says his goal in this is to not extort WikiLeaks. He says, you know, many of the people who look at Assange as being this person who releases information in the, in the prison itself and see him not as somebody, you know, to vilify per se, but see him as somewhat of a hero in this case. The guards themselves, he said, were spreading information, but he doesn't think they were doing it maliciously, um, meaning this kind of rape case stuff, not maliciously to get him harmed per se, but he believes that they were doing it insofar as they didn't necessarily, they weren't abreast of everything associated with it, just kind of people doing their jobs. Um, beyond that point, you know, it just go to parts of the story. She says, uh, when asked if they were attempting to sell the photos, they may claim that the son had offered them $10,000, but they declined um, because they're not interested in cash. They just want to tell Stor Dom Julian Sanchez's story properly. He said that he's willing only to share what he has to say with the accompanying photos with an outlet that supports his fellow inmates and reiterates that his goal was simply to raise awareness about the truth of Julian Assange's case. Whether it's true or not true, I mean, it is getting airplay at this point. The photos feature Assange prior to his illness before being moved to the hospital wing last month, 
We have not been able to verify if Assange is aware of the existence of these photographs. Keep in mind, these photos were taken in private and then leaked. Um, the Gateway Pundit was not asked for, nor did we provide any compensation for the photos or permission to use the photos. Let's see. I want this to be understood fully in detail, the MA told the DPG. I want people to know why exactly the USA wants him and what good he has done for the world. The prisoner said that while Assange can only speak, he can only spend six pounds a week and his need of commissary money, multiple people close to WikiLeaks asserted this is false and that he has more than enough for his account. Uh oh, here we go. And see, this is where this, this gets dicey. And Cassandra Fairbanks was asking really good questions here, like, what really is your motive in doing, you know, are you trying to scam um, on this particular sensitive issue? His argument is, look, I'm just trying to, you know, get a story out. I'm just trying to get a story out. I don't know if that's true or not. But I do like seeing the pictures of Assange, um, whether it's true or not. I want to leave the story at the bottom. I... It's just so bizarre. So one of the other part, the prisoner stated that Assange is currently in the hospital wing of the hospital. He also said that Assange <clears throat> very much appreciates all of the letters that he received and support. So one of the arguments that I made the other day was whether or not the protests that people are having are having a benefit from the standpoint of a political situation, because that's what this is. I would imagine from the morale of the individual, it matters. And that's kind of what he said. He says all of the support, all of the protests, all of the letters, all of those things he approved of. It made him feel better or feel good. I mean, as good as a person can feel in this situation. Um, all right, I'm going to leave this here. She gets a scoop. Good for her. Shout out to Cassandra Fairbanks. Yeah, shout out to Fairbanks. Um, yeah, and she's just going back over the details of the case. I mean, ultimately the information is, and the basics of the story is, here are pictures of Julian Assange. We make contact with someone who was in the jail that was an anonymous source that has a phone <laughs> that has been taking these pictures and is now given information and details on Assange, which is basically, um, it's a prison. It's a horrible prison. That, that, you know, that's basically the details. Um, and he goes into this notion of Assange, Assange's well-being. It gets a little sketchy on the money part because it is, does look a little weird that you're trying to crowdfund. Now, there he's making this argument that Assange needs a better lawyer, that, that there's a lawyer in Britain that apparently is extremely good at this job that gets people, um, have a good tendency of getting these people off. I don't know if the money that's being crowdfunded is directly going to that. It looks a little weird to me. All of this looks a little dicey to me, um, but that's the story. It's a really strange story. It's a really strange, strange story. I'm sick of the duopoly protest by sending a few bucks to your favorite political third party. And there's that. There's that. All right, guys, I'm going to end this here because I have an interview coming up with Ron at 4 p.m. Um, I'll see you guys then. I got to be honest, it is nice to see pictures of Assange. Um, it gets a little weird when these guys are crowdfunding around Assange, um, but it is nice to see pictures of Assange. And again, WikiLeaks is making the point that Assange has the money that, that he needs in Belmarsh Prison. You don't need to send money to some kind of crowdfunding thing for something like that to take place. And I got to be honest, after exposing that there was an anonymous source in Bill Marsh prison with a phone, I strongly suspect that that is going to get shaken down pretty soon. Um, but nevertheless, pictures of Assange, if nothing else. All right, guys, I will end this here and I'll see you guys in about 15 minutes. Thanks all. And Anna Maxa, thank you. I always appreciate your assistance. Bye-bye.